Welcome to another tutorial from Ace5 Studios. This is Alexei here, and today we're going to be doing floating stuff on wavy surfaces. So let's get started. Let's make a surface plane. Let's give it like 100 by 100 subdivisions. Let's scale it up to make it very big. Let's move it down here. We're going to be floating this 5 on the surface here. But let's first make the surface wavy. So shift, holding shift, click on uh, Displace Deformer. Um, make another copy because we're going to have a small one and a big one. So it's going to be small waves. It's going to be large waves. Let's go here to Custom Shader and let's select Noise. And let's drag this 10 up to 70. So I open up the shader, let's make this like 5,000, 5, maybe that's about right. Let's crank up the animation speed to like two, press play, um, play button is here by the way. Let's increase the amount of frames to 250 because otherwise it's too fast to reset, oops, drag this thing out. There you go, that's going way too fast. Let's change the speed to like 1.5, there you go. Let's go back up to our no displacer, let's jack this up as well. Okay, so we have our waves displacing. Now our small waves, similar thing, click here, let's select noise. Um, let's select um, sparse convolution again, and make it like 300%. Let's increase the height of it a bit. Um, maybe change it to real noise. There you go. And now we have little water things happening here. And now, how do we constrain this five to the water? Well, first we have to check out where the null is. Right now, uh, you can see the axis is kind of, let's stop it for a while. Like where the axis is, is the point at which the object gonna rotate around. So if it's around here, it's gonna rotate and bounce kind of like this, and that's not very accurate because it's a pretty evenly distributed letter. So we're gonna have to go to a move tool, axis tool, and move this guy so it's in the middle of the object. That's important. And at the bottom half, because that's how you want it to float. Basically, center of gravity is where the axis should be. And in this case, center of gravity is gonna be a bit at the bottom because I want it to be floating on top of the water um, because it'll be less dense. So what do we do next? We right click on it, we go character tags, and we go constraint. And then we go clamp, and we drag our plane in here. And we drag the distance to zero. Now, as you can see, it's not working at all because, interesting question. Why is it not working at all? Oh, because we have origin. No, we want plane or surface. There you go. And now we can move it around and we can even rotate it. So it's right now, as you can see, it's not really rotating or pointing in the right direction. So we want to go here and we're going to go align to surface. Um, as fun normal. There you go. And we want to use the, which one do I want to use? There you go. The plus X, no, the minus X. There you go. Now, as you can see, it's aligned to the water surface, but we have a little problem. It's kind of rough. Like this is not how things float on water. You know, they need some buoyancy. They need to bounce up and down. And this one is just kind of very rigidly moving around. So what we do is we make a different, well, actually let's keep this null because we already have this null doing what we need. Let's holding a shift key with this null selected. Let's make another null and call this five and drag this stuff in here. This is our object, whatever it was and drag it out. And this will be called our locator. And on this five, let's go Why is this five not where it's meant to be? Oh, because we didn't reset PSR. Let's undo this stuff. Ah, go back to where we were. Yes. <laughs> don't forget, once you make this five, don't forget to go reset PSR. Reset PSR. There you go. Now it's in the right place. Now we drag these guys in here, drag it out, 
call this locator and we go right click character constraint and spring this guy and with a spring we can now attach to the locator and okay great position and rotation and after we press play you'll see it's bouncing up and down much smoother than before see? and you can obviously adjust the stiffness here you can make it much stiffer make it less stiff and basically there you go let's let's make these large waves a bit smaller a bit too intense there you go so it's a bit more and stiffness to like back to 10. And now you can see it's kind of floating and bobbing up and down on the surface in a much more realistic and acceptable manner. I think we took the large waves a bit too much down. Let's go 150. There you go. So that's the first method. Uh, and I'll show you one more method, which might be useful to you, depending on how you're doing this project. Um, we don't need these constraint tags anymore. We're going to use a cloner. What we do need, though, is on this plane, we're going to make it editable, and we need to go and select the point where we want the 5 to be. So let's say here. And go select and set selection. Now we're going to put the 5 into the cloner. So holding Alt, set cloner. Now here, we're going to switch to object. And I'm going to drag this plane into here. But first, before you drag the plane, make sure to turn off the cloner, because otherwise it will put a clone on every single point in this plane, which is a lot of points and everything will crash or at least freeze for a while. So we turn it off, we drag the plane in here and then here in selection, we drag our little point selection here and now we can turn it back on. And now we have the five on the point. So we can also we probably need to rotate a bit. So let's drag this rotation to, there you go, minus nine. And now if we press play, we have the same old problem where it's kind of very, you know, jumpy. So that's where we get a MoGraph effector delay effector and delay. And we switch this to spring and we press play. And now, as you can see, it's much less jumpy or not. Let's drag this delay effector effector strength up. There you go. See, now it's just floating on top of the water quite realistically. Well, at least a lot less jumpy than it was before. Oof, even jumps up and down a bit. Maybe that's too much. <laughs> Should I get to 95 or something? Now, and the good thing about this method is if you go to your cloner and you actually switch this from vertex because it's on every point to surface and then clear this point selection, you have a whole bunch of fives floating on your water, which is a very nifty thing. And you can use the MoGraph effector push apart to push them apart a bit. You can even use scale apart and maybe increase the radius a bit, a bit more. There you go. And then you can get your cloner and you can go my graph effector and random and that'll scale them, but also you can do it rotation. And there you go. You have a whole bunch of little stuff floating on top of your surface in a nice, you know, pleasant manner. So there you go, hope you enjoyed this. This is Alexei from Ace5 Studios. If you like this tutorial, check out my website, ace5studios.com for more tutorials. Also check out my five man. It's a nice rig character. You can play with it, animate with it. All good stuff. Um, write comments, write suggestions. I love to hear all of it. See ya.